Welcome, Briar. It's good to be with you today. Ryan, we've just completed uh, the, the leadership meeting for the month, and yeah, we're here. monthly director's meeting, and excited for a little unscripted Facebook Live updates. Facebook Live. We wouldn't have it any other way. Yeah. So one of the highlights from today, let's lead with this. We welcome in Grar's Leadership yeah. Academy today. And so uh, many of the people who are taking part in that uh, growth, learning, leadership experience uh, joined in. And not just to observe, but joined in the discussion. Too. Actually, what I really like today is you know having the Grarla members see what we do on a monthly basis, what's happening behind the scenes on behalf of you know, our real estate members, but they actually participated. They, yep. they put valuable input and comments and, and weighed in on topics, and so that was, that was fun. Yeah, good, good to have them good, here. Good input. Uh, the other thing that recently happened for many directors is we returned from national meetings, both at Real Trends in Denver, yeah. T3 in LA. What were some of your takeaways from that? Right? Yeah, I mean, I have pages of ahas from Real Trends. One, I'd just like to thank Grar and, and then let people know, you know, part of serving as directors is we go to national conventions like this to gather good information and, you know, hot topics and trends throughout the country and bring them back and see how we can apply them at Grar, how they might affect our members. So very thankful that I could go to that. Um, you know, I think the big one, and I'll mention it because there's always controversy, is Zillow. We got to sit and talk and listen to the CEO of Zillow, Spencer Raskoff, and he made a very important um, note and point of saying that they do not want to replace real estate agents. So whether you believe that or not, he said it, whether you're telling the truth or not, but I'm here to report what the CEO of Zillow said. They want technology to be a support system and in addition and a complement to real estate agents in that service. No one at that conference thought the relationship part was going to go away. Technology cannot replace the relationship part of real estate agent has with their client. So it's just important to know that we're the customer of those big companies. They make all their revenue off of us. If we go away, they go away. So I think we're safe for anyone who thought maybe our industry was going to go away. And that client relationship is a big part of the value that we continue to carry. Big forward. part of the value. Good. De definitely. All right, so we heard a report from the forms committee as well today. Yep. They continue to work at getting purchase agreements, listing agreements, uh, ironed out in the best ways possible. Uh, a lot of those changes won't come immediately to the floor, but it, it serves as a reminder to me, to remind all membership, that there is a new 2017 West yes. Michigan Purchase Agreement. So um, uh, yes. make don't, sure don't that you send have, us a 2009 offer on our list, or 2009 Purchase Agreement. Yeah. That's 2017, it's out there, it's on grar.com. Yeah, it's on that loop, Member side that loop. Forms. Uh, it's on all the platforms. So uh, keep, keep looking for that if you haven't found it yet. Definitely. YPN's been busy? Yeah, YPN held a um, RPAC fundraiser here at GRAR um, last week Friday for Cinco de Mayo, and um, it was a hit. They had fun. 60 yeah. people or so come, yard games, food trucks, and, and actually another fun event got birthed out of that. They might be hosting food trucks on Fridays at GRAR on a regular basis for providing lunch for the neighboring businesses and any real estate agents who want to stop by. So yeah. good, good idea, looking forward to that. Good idea, and hopefully a good way for us to keep growing. We should move our meetings to Fridays. So we can take advantage of the food trucks. Uh, indeed. So we, we all know that we continue to find ourselves in a competitive marketplace. Definitely. And uh, one of the discussions that we'll, we'll continue uh, with some guidance from legal counsel is what do we do as a realtor community uh, in regard to what have commonly become known as love letters? Love letters. And, and love letters are when you have your clients write a letter to the, to the seller. Um, describing who you are and your family and why you want the house and kind of making your case for why you're the right buyer and the right offer they should choose when they have multiple offers. Locally, statewide, nationally, there's concerns over fair housing issues surrounding yeah. those and so we want to be uh, we want to be up front in seeking some guidance uh, from McClelland and Anderson and, uh, yeah. and we hope to be receiving that in the near future. Yeah, so even though we don't have an answer now, we're working on it, but I, I mean I'd say to all the real estate agents out there, always consider you know not what just gives you or your client a competitive edge in this market to make a commission which I know is important that's what we wake up to do remember there's fair housing and there's other things that apply and and, and also I guess be comforted knowing that we're behind the scenes looking at that stuff and making sure we don't you know you're not open up anymore like well and let's just say that whether it's letters or other types of communication or just how you show up each and every day uh, keep fair housing at the forefront of your minds and let's make sure that we're operating it's got in the to. best way possible yep definitely um, also, you know, Facebook page, Grar has a private Facebook page. I just encourage everyone to go back and read the rules of engagement on that. Um, 
and what you can post and not post. We're talking about a couple topics here. We don't have an answer or any changes for you yet, but um, post things on there that are beneficial and, and, and follow, follow the guidelines and the rules. Don't try not to do personal promotion, recruiting events, things like that. Yeah, well said. So. And I'm going to give four letters here. M-R-G-R. Michigan Realtors in Grand Rapids. That's happening uh, this September. And uh, as West Michigan, we get to host uh, the state yeah. convention this year. So I think it's not too early uh, to ask all of you to, to open up your calendars, take a look ahead to September, um, look for opportunities to register and attend that event. There's going to be lots good going on. And, uh, and as Grower, we look to be involved with that too. And at the Amway Grand? Or I believe at the Amway and, yeah. and some surrounding So look it up on the stuff. website. You can punch in MR, MR Convention 2017. Mm -hmm. In Grand Rapids, if you haven't been to one, you should at least attend one. You're a realtor in the state of Michigan and it's in your own city. Come down there and represent Grower and who we are. It'll be a good one. Definitely. So Grower, that's, uh, that's it for this month. Yeah, I, thought, I want a quick give a shout out and thank Ed Hansen. I mean, he volunteered for like 10 different committees today. Ed Hansen's just working so hard on behalf of everybody. Um, so if you ever run into Ed or do a deal with him, just thank him for all the work that he's doing behind the scenes here at Grar. There it is, everybody. Have a great That's week. Have, and, have a good uh, week. We'll check in next time. All right.